guys, you made it to the last video of this course. In this last video, we're going to see how to work on the layout process. So let's jump into the video. And we can go into File, Import, and we can bring in the set fit that we just did for the footage with the partial zoom. And we can take the whole group and now match it to the scale of the car. And we need to make sure that the car is sitting where it's supposed to be. So I'm taking the whole group and just moving it to where this car should be. And I can select the car and just rotate it to face the camera if I need. And selecting the group again, we can pretty much make sure that the car is sitting where it's supposed to based on what our VFX supervisor is telling us. But in this case, we just have a free hand due to the fact that we don't have any kind of directions about where this car should be on the street. And if we just play this, we'll see that the car sticks. And we need to change the timeline to the proper length of 349 because the file that contains the model of the car didn't have the proper length. And we can see that our car is sitting in the middle of the street and it's ready to go. It is positioned where it's supposed to be. And in this case, we can take our plane that represents the road, turn the visibility off, as well as that house that we use to make sure that everything matches, turn the visibility off, and we can take the scene and give it to the next artist in line, which might be the animation artists or even the FXTDs that might need even to explode this car or make something to it. Maybe it burns in the middle of the street and then the rest of the production pipeline can work on this file. Congratulations, you guys. You made it through this plus level course in which we saw how to deal with a handheld shot that had a zoom in it. I hope you enjoyed this course and please feel free to check the rest of the courses we have here on vfxtutor.com. I'm Michael Rafaelovich and you've been VFX Tutored.